Hello and welcome to another episode of the Toronto Dog Whisperer. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through all the winter gear that you need for walking your dog in comfort. The winter isn't a lot of fun for you and I, but guess what? It's a lot of fun for your dogs. And it's just as important to walk your dogs in the winter time as it is in the summertime. So, if you're comfortable, you're gonna be more likely to take your dog for walks. And that's what we're gonna to cover today. I'm gonna to take you through all the gear that you're gonna need from your head all the way down to your boots to make sure that you're comfortable on your walks with your dog this winter. The cold has definitely set in in downtown Toronto and the winter can be very unpleasant. And it's not just the temperature that makes it uncomfortable to take your dog outside. It's also the wind and all the different slush and uncomfortable things that go with the winter time. But guess what? Your dogs love it. Most dogs are completely comfortable playing in the snow for long periods of time and they have lots of insulation and undercoat to make sure they stay warm. If your particular dog doesn't have the right winter coat in terms of the fur, it might be uncomfortable for them, but you can always get them a sweater. Either way, they love playing and they love exploring and running around just as much in the winter time as they do in the summertime. If you have a young dog, or a dog with a lot of energy, it's going to be even more important that you not only walk them properly, but you allow them time off leash to really run and explode and use up the energy they've been storing up all day. Dogs suffer from cabin fever just like we do, and going outside gives them that opportunity just to have a lot of fun, explore, play fetch, and do all kinds of cool things, including taking my knees out. Ouch, that hurt. Walking your dog can be just as enjoyable for you as it is for your dog in the wintertime, as long as you have the right gear. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna take you through the criteria that I chose in terms of what winter gear is perfect for walking your dog. Something that's gonna keep you warm, something that's gonna keep the wind out, keeping you dry is super important. Something that's gonna be convenient so you can take it on and off quickly. Something that's gonna be comfortable. And last but not least, something that is gonna be mobile. We're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up. And where do we start off? Of course, with the boots. Because if your feet are cold, then you're gonna to wanna to go inside very quickly. Traction is also a consideration to keep you safe from slipping and sliding. These boots aren't too big, they're not too bulky, they aren't too heavy. They're great for walking. They're almost like hiking boots for the winter time. The most important thing here is they're easy to put on. They're gonna keep your feet really dry and really warm. They're gonna be nice and comfortable for long walks. And I usually recommend anything between 15 and 20 minutes as a standard to use. These particular pants are really important. They're called snowboarding pants or winter pants, and they go over any type of clothing that you already have on, which makes them great. The winter boots are key. The winter pants I would think are more important and these ones actually have a sleeve that go on top of your boots and it seals off your boots from any cold air, snow, or moisture that can get down the ankle part. Now that we have the bottom half covered, we're gonna talk about the jacket and there's lots of different options. I like a light shell. This particular jacket isn't full of down but it does have a reflective material inside and the thing that i really like about it is that it is great for layering and underneath i put a hooded sweatshirt on and you're going to see why in just a little bit these also have a sleeve that comes out of the arms and if you get some cold air up your arms that can be 
really uncomfortable. Gloves are important, but they're not the be all and end all. You just need something to grip and to hold the leash in comfort without your hands getting cold. Another problem is actually getting too hot. If you're doing lots of walking and you get too hot, it can be really uncomfortable. So this particular jacket has vents in the, in the uh, underarm area that keep you from overheating. And layers are also great because if you have a problem, you can get cool quick. Chapstick is another important thing to have on you because chap lips can make walking outside really uncomfortable and you want to be as comfortable as possible so chapstick or any type of lip balm is really good for keeping your lips nice and soft and keeping those chap lips from hurting you so this is one of the reasons why i chose a hooded sweatshirt is because if your head gets cold you can always put the hood on top And if it gets really cold, bam, you can cinch it down pretty quickly and even put the hood from the coat on top of it. Now, I might look like a bit of a dork, but I'm warm and that's the most important thing. We're going for function rather than looks and keeping your head warm is super important. Any type of hat will do. This is just a regular beanie but keeping your head warm is gonna be one of those things that adds to your comfort. This particular hat covers most of my head, including my ears and forehead, covering as much skin as possible. Another nice thing is this beautiful scarf that my friend knitted for me, and it's really warm. It keeps your neck nice and comfortable and it prevents cold air from rushing down your jacket and getting into your skin which is going to make you cold and that's not a good thing similar to the vest and the sleeve that comes down on top of your boots See how amazingly warm this scarf looks and it is and it's just as easy to take on and off believe it or not convenience is key if it takes you 20 minutes to put on your winter gear and to take it off oh runny nose better have a tissue on hand just in case these are the little things that make a difference in terms of making you as comfortable as possible in the wintertime. Oh yeah, we can't forget about the sun. On the very rare occasion when the sun actually does come out, it can be really, really bright in the daytime and the sun reflects off the snow. And snow blindness, blindness is a thing. So make sure to have a pair of sunglasses on hand when you're taking your dog out in the winter months, even when it isn't too sunny out. Once you have all your gear on, you're good to go. Again, if you get too hot, you can always take the layers off or unzip them in this case. Now, here's another demonstration of why I chose a hooded sweatshirt to go inside of this light shell. You can basically go from a t-shirt to having your coat on 
in no time flat and convenience is key not just for a bachelor but for anybody a couple zippers later and you're ready to grab your dogs grab their leashes and head outside can't forget your sunglasses last but not least this amazing scarf thanks mom if you're walking your dogs on a regular basis winter time summer time no matter what you're giving them all the things that they need to be happy and once you get inside taking it off is just as important in terms of convenience as putting it on and if you can get out of your gear and into bed or on the couch or wherever it is really quickly you're gonna be like oh that wasn't a big deal I can take the dogs out get all my gear on take all my gear off in no time flat boots they're great snow pants they're fantastic and oh by the way I just have my pajamas on underneath so you can roll out of bed get all your winter gear on and these pants are amazing Once you get your dog back inside, I like to have a few towels ready just to get them dry. A lot of the sidewalks that you're going to be using are going to be salted possibly or just have a lot of slush and crap on them and it's really important to get all that guck off your dogs and it accumulates underneath their bellies and in between their legs and on their chest it's really important to wipe them down and to give them a bit of loving keeping your dog's fur as clean as possible is going to help quite a bit and getting the salt and and gunk off their feet is going to help quite a bit in terms of keeping your home as clean as possible. I have a little assembly line here. Oh. And I can wipe the dogs down pretty quickly even though there's 3. It's a really fun treat for them too. It's a quiet way of giving them affection and they just love it. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I really enjoyed making this video. The dogs obviously are having a lot of fun outside. They're enjoying all the winter activities, including playing fetch, running off leash, walking down the street, meeting other dogs, doing all the things that dogs love to do and should be doing all year round. If you're comfortable, you're gonna be encouraged to take them out you're going to get out yourself you're going to enjoy the winter weather and not get cabin fever yourself so get all the right gear make sure that before you take your dogs out you have everything that you need to be as comfortable as possible till next time if you love your dog take them for a walk thanks so much for watching take care